Four drink minimum. No drink maximum. Your vomit. F you too. What? Just calling your friends vomit like that? I mean... Okay. What, what gives you the right to call me vomit? What would you like me to call you? Call me by my name. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard someone get stuck in such a logical trap and think <laughs> so desperately of how to get out of it. Sounds good stuff. So so so. Hey, Internet Highway 47 here, and I'm Grego Funk, but I'm not alone. With me is the Chunky Vomit. Oh, I, I feel insulted in multiple levels now. I, you, I I tried to think of something, and that's what came out, and I'm so sorry. Chunky Vomit is what came out, huh? <laughs> yeah. The more I think about it, the worse it gets. And it's a four drink minimum tonight. We're watching Battle Beyond the Stars. Yeah. Why don't you I'm tell already, us all about it, Draco Funk? I'm already one drink in. Uh, so, Battle Beyond the Stars came out July 25th, 1980. It has an IMDb rating of 5.5. 5. Mm, it has a really boring. Tomatometer rating of 50. With an audience score of 42. This couldn't get much more middle ground, could it? Uh, so, I mean, we have 5.5, 5, 50, and 42. So, this is like exactly in the middle ground. I think those average out to like a point below middle. Uh, it's probably like 4.8, I think it would come to. A point below, a point below the middle. And it's a four drink minimum tonight. What are you drinking, Draco Funk? I'm drinking rum and coke. Funny, me too. Really? What am I not drinking rum and coke? I thought you. I thought you sometimes drink coffee and coke, and that one, that one time you drink one fifty one. We don't talk about that time. Well, huh. Yeah, so, these intros go a lot faster when there's only two of us, huh? That, that That's true. So we're watching this on DVD, so tell us all about that, Vomit. First, you want to get your DVD, and you want to stick it in your Lennox box night, back in 1972. <laughs> and it's going to come out about four pixels by four pixels. And then you just stick those pixels in your time machine, and someday in the future, you can pick up those pixels... And uh, once you can get them from the floppy disk onto a CD, you can stick that in your DVD drive and wonder why you didn't just put the DVD in the DVD drive to begin with. But we're past that for now. And then uh, once once the DVD loads on your DVD player of choice, you want to go to play on the movie and then pause it real fast. And then you rewind it to the beginning and then you pause it again. And then you wait till Draco Funk says he's ready. And then he's going to count down. And then once he's counted down, we're going to watch the movie. Yeah. Exactly like that. But before we watch the movie, is there any names you'd like to say, Draco Funk? Uh, Steve? Cool. Bob? All right. <laughs> I'm missing something, aren't I? Yeah. So, uh, after I watched the... 60 subscriber special you uploaded today. I checked out our Patreon. Yeah. And it said we have one patron. And oh. I've been trying all day to get the name of our patron out of you. And you have not given it to me. I am so sorry. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. But we want we to honor our patron. He, he or she gave us one dollar. 
So, um, are you ready for this? Yes. Can you give me a drum roll. No, I can't. I would like to give a shout out to our first Patreon. And uh, I will probably forget right now to put your name on the, like, put a list of all the Patreon names here. But it, I, I, you know what? I'll do it. Um, whatever time stamp this is in the audio recording, I'll have to figure that out. Um, so our list of Patreons for this video. Uh, there's only one at the moment, but, you know, that could change. So, here, flashing big on the screen, our first Patreon is... Give me that drum roll again. Perfect. Scrodrick. Honestly, I knew it was going to be one of us. <laughs> 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 can, can you do me a favor? <laughs> can you do me a huge favor? Editor yeah. Draco Funk. Can you do yeah. me a huge favor? Sure. When you say Scrodrick, can you add a thunderclap? The one from <laughs> the one from Zeus Thunder Tits or whatever it was that Scrodrick kept saying. I I I, I know I was, it wasn't Zeus Thunder Tits, but it sounded funny in my head and it just came out of my mouth. <laughs> Can you say Zeus Thunder Tits one more time? Zeus Thunder Tits one more time. Perfect. All right. <laughs> We're watching Battle Beyond the Stars. <laughs> Hold on, I have to Google Zeus Thunder Tits. Uh, no. See if that domain is ready is available so we can have it redirect to us. Can't even spell Zeus now. Zeus Thunder Tits. Uh, scars from a lightning strike from Thunder Tits on Imgur. Wow. Well, Zeus Thunder Tits is more hardcore than me. Let's watch a movie. All right. This is Battle Beyond the Stars, and we're starting together in five, four, three, two, one, go. This episode brought to you by. Deuce Thunder Tits and Scrodrick. And support from viewers like you. Thank you, specifically Scrodrick. We didn't already watch this movie, did we? I don't know. Oh. I don't I don't pay attention <laughs> to what we post. No, we didn't. I'm getting this confused with Kroll. Okay. Mainly because, oh. like, their their soundtracks are very similar. Oh. I opened up our page to make sure we haven't watched this, and we're up to 71 subscribers. What? Yeah. You're going to have to do a second mission to the North Pole. By the time I said, the first one's finished. So, no, I already put down the challenges. If we reach um, 100 subscribers by the end of the year, I will drive to the South Pole from the North Pole. Okay, but do you have a 74 subscriber special in mind? I I, I didn't. James Horner! Man, we keep watching James Horner movies. It's because you guys keep picking the movies. Honestly, I didn't remember that he was the um, composer to this movie until I looked up the IMDb stuff. So we have to listen for the James Horner um, theme. So this movie came out after Star Wars? Like right after? It's two years after. I think this I think this beat uh The Empire Strikes Back. Well, definitely looks better. <laughs> Sorry, I'm suddenly having flashbacks to last week. 
This is an 80s movie, not a 70s movie. It definitely looks better than Logan's Run. Just wait. Let's see. Did this beat The Empire Strikes Back? No, this came out two months after The Empire Strikes Back. Oh. If nobody's arm gets cut off, I'm going to be bored. Uh oh. This looks like definitely the kind of satellite that would have artificial gravity all over the place. Um, this is fine. Yeah. This is fine. This is fine. It's probably fine. Man, they must really hate the weather guys. Everyone hates the weather guys because they can't predict the weather. Okay, now I'm getting those Logan runs feel. <laughs> oh man the one thing I I appreciate in modern movies is getting everyone to stare at the same spot like everyone's looking around in various areas like what is it also where is it <laughs> huh, is it where is it at oh Noah just looks disinterested there. Actually, I think he's blind. Oh, well. Now I just look like a jerk. So just a quick question. Yes. Does this have the same plot as A Bug's Life? Yes. Okay. Can I just start A Bug's Life now? <laughs> oh, no. Oh! Space castration. Space castration. Remember that's, when this happened? Oh, no, that's life? the first one. Not be hitting the dick. I mean, don't assume, man. I'm sorry. Not everyone keeps their genitals in the same place. But when she got hit in the ass, I had two reasons to assume she didn't get hit in the dick. Hey, dude, no means no. You know, I had to say that like four times watching Logan's run, and I'm just burnt out. No means no, but... Yeah, okay. Is this promise important to the plot, or are you just going to get a beer and have an excuse? He's going to go get a beer. And a fool.
Okay, how did he know the chair was there? Yeah, Flick. Let's do it. She's still a junk pile, but... Mm -hmm. But she has a nice um, pair of... A nice um, pair of engines? Fantastic blasters? No, a nice nice pair. (laughs) Yes. So... He accepts the ship as a woman, but the old man has referred to the ship as a man. So now I'm curious about the ship's gender. Star Trek original series sound effects. I don't care. (laughs) I'm a ship. A ship with boobs. Fire the breastulator. You're going the wrong way. The planet is down. You want to go up. Basic lessons I learned from Kerbal Space Program. Down is the wrong way for a rocket to go. Okay, so the boob ship is possessive. Uh. I don't know how to deal with that race oh no it's hitting the pyrotechnics perfectly I mean, if she can do all of those things, can't she just shoot? Those are the sound effects from Battlestar Galactica. Bro, just hold my hand while I fire this gun. It's the only way I feel comfortable, bro. So oh, why did he say if they if he shoots him they'll tip their hand? Yeah. Like who are they going to tell? You know There's plenty of reasons. I just am appreciating that the race grew to be asymmetrical. (laughs) 
Ship, you have no backbone. You have no bones. Shut up, you goddamn sassy ship. I'm gonna pull your vocal wires. Wait, wait. Okay. That was that was almost the James Horner lick. He's horn enough. He I, I found that he put that used that lick in at least four different movies. The Horner lick? Yeah. You ever go up to random people on the street and be like, hey, do you want to listen to the Horner lick? And then you can find no. out how many people actually carry a pepper spray with them. I, I would prefer not to. I do it to taco stands. Their pepper spray is always the best. Like what? Aqua. The, the land of rock. Do you notice like a lot of things have boobs in this movie? No, why are you thinking about boobs all the time? I mean, I'm just. Ooh, he's going to do a manual docking. Yeah. Why would he need to manual? How much can the ship control? Like, literally, I don't understand what the AI has function over and what the AI does not have function over. I, you know, I don't know that either. Also, this doesn't look like a docking. It looks like a landing. I I agree. I thought they were going to, like, pull out a docking port and, like, dock. But no, he's just landing inside, like, some sort of boat bay. Well, to be fair, he didn't. we didn't see him land it, so he might have docked in there. I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. This this tool does nothing. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did she just convert this android to a boombox? Yeah. I like her already. <laughs> Just, she's like making the precursors to Terra the Android. I feel fantastic. I wonder if she built like the Android from Logan's Run. Was an Android in Logan's? Oh yeah, there was. No, Remember, he was a cyborg. A cy oh yeah, you're right. He was a cyborg. He he was, I have the supreme was, being, and you moved yeah. my arm. Yeah. No, my birds. He made a big deal about how he was the supreme being, and then he just got taken out. Air? Air, please. My human neck is feeling pain. <laughs> Human organisms don't exist.
All right, Drago Funk. Yes. We need to get one of these and ride around town. Okay. That's the end of the story. Like, that thing could not look like more 80s trying to look futuristic tech, and I want to drive that around in 2022. The, Maybe 2023, because we're not yeah, going to have that by the end. I keep forgetting. Yeah, we're we're running out of 2022. Yeah. Like, you know, I might be able to build that, but then not by the end of 2022. Not unless, like, you have a whole bunch of money to, like, give me. Subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah, for the like the ten thousand dollar tier, and, and Draco um, Funk will build a. Um, I mean, yeah, if you pay us enough to build that, we'll do face reveals, Draco Funk and I, because we're gonna film ourselves riding around in that. I was gonna, I was gonna assume we'd be wearing horse masks. All right, we're not gonna do face reveals unless we have horse faces. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to plot, are you? I man to talk for switch off. My dad wants me to fuck. Wait, wait, the, the robot's names are Lep- Leprous and Skew? I... Do, oh, um, hmm, mm-hmm. Hi, your dad tied me up and he wants me to f*** you. Very convincing having me locked up like this. I've got a Stockholm fetish. What? The, the conjugal suite. The conjugal suite. Oh, man. Your cut of this movie still has the cigarette burn. Oh, there was another one. The cigarette burns in the upper right corner. The old nostalgia circle. This recently was released on Blu ray. Oh, man. This must look fantastic on Blu-ray. I appreciate that they're not saying years or days or anything. They just keep saying, like, cycles. Yeah. But, like, that would be years, right? Like, didn't didn't evil dictator man say he'd give him seven cycles? Seven rises. Seven rises, okay. So, assuming that their days are, rot- their planet rotates at a similar speed of ours, he has seven days. But if they spin it like Mercury speed, they've got forever. Like, it's cool that they're original, but we don't have a fair base of reference, just assumptions. You know? Well, he said seven rises of their red dwarf. So we don't have any idea how long that is. Uh, They do. My red dwarf rises, like, first thing in the morning. TMI.
What? What? <laughs> I, you know, you know about computers. You can, you help, can us. help us fight an alien race. Exit Aww. with my boob ship. Abandon the only girl that's shown me interest. Her options were extremely limited, and I think that was a factor. Uh oh. She docked. She undocked. <laughs> Stop getting ship horny. Wait for me in the Lambda Zone. I like the amount of stress he put on the word replied. Powdered him. Oh no, I'm breathing emissary. Uh oh. He's gonna blow up their planet and then vacuum it. He has to be able to hold a whole planet's worth of space dust to be able to clean it out of there. Yeah. He didn't really think that through, did he? Uh, no. Oh. Did that have the Confederate flag on it? Possibly. Are these space rebels in the worst kind of way? Uh... Oh my god. Just wait. I don't want to ever. I, I, you'll never guess this character's name. I. <laughs> Is his name literally Space Cowboy? Yes. If he doesn't get any space cows, I am tired of his character already. I've just been up here herding space, herding cows, and herding boys. <laughs> I'm going to kill.
I, who have never flown that far before today, have decided that I can kill four trained professionals. Uh. So that's the only reason she didn't... Okay, well... Mm. But then she did. Man, they're really firing the pong beams at the space cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Four zero for the boob ship. I'm not sure you did any of that. The ship might have done all of it. It's proven it's ready to kill. It's already taken lives. It can keep killing. Just send it versus them. Mm hmm. You shoot the space co 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 boy at him. Just kill the space cowboy. Yeah. He's already shown to be a space racist. He has space racist symbolism on his ship. Stellar converter. Stellar... Stellar converter. Mm -hmm. Stellar converter. Yes, it converts stellar. It. I don't see what you mean at all. He phosphorized the planet. Good luck with that. <laughs> well, here's a DVD of John Wayne and some f movie. <laughs> John Wayne stars in some f movie. Yeah, Adam Young and... stars Space Cowboy and some kid whose name I can't remember. They're they're gonna record like that a movie like what we're doing now. Man, uh... that's really out of focus. Oh no, I'm never going to get laid by this space boy. Oh. I feel 
sympathy? Maybe boredom? Okay, I'm not really clear on what just happened, but she is smoking. Um. Uh. Yep, still pretty unclear. Was that the the Planet Eater from that one episode of Star Trek? The Doomsday Machine? Yeah, the the Planet Eater from that yeah, one the, Godzilla movie. The the, the do, Doomsday Machine? Yeah. Godzilla Doomsday Machine with the Planet Eater. Oh, good. Space perverts. Yeah, because the boobs on the ship wasn't enough. Um... I'm sorry, we've got a Kumar? Huh. Just your skin. I need the dust. Lived in them. <laughs> I don't care. I, because they would change their minds just like that. Like, yeah. they couldn't go looking for this Sador guy. They kept her alive because... Like, they had all the information they needed to, to find Sador, other than the fact that when... And now he's about to get close encounters of the third kinded. Mm hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Uh oh, he's been welcome, abducted. annoying kid. You have died. I am Q. I, I really, the afterlife. I really wish Christopher Walken would just like show up. Oh God! <laughs> Welcome to the Bleach Ship. Your skin is too dark for us. We're going to fix that. Uh oh. You could still use this thing. Uh 
You can read minds, also control them. It's like you have a third eye. So if they can just psychically control somebody, could they not just go straight for the leader and have him Hitler himself? <laughs> Terminal on we I mm 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 uh -oh. Nothing like a wedding ceremony that goes with approved for procreation. Definitely shows what your whole religion is about there. Uh. Ah, the cow probe. Well, those were two impressive horns, at least. Hmm. So this feels like somebody's tabletop RP that just got made into a movie. <sighs> they they just this is what happened when everybody was like, "Hey, look, that Star Wars movie did good. We can do something like that." This movie has ideas. Okay. When I yeah. asked if this had the same plot as A Bug's Life, I yeah. was half joking, but this is the space remake of The Magnificent Seven, which was the cowboy remake of Seven Samurai, which was the same source as A Bug's Life. Yeah. Okay. So I accidentally called it really early on. I mean, yeah. Why are we not watching Seven Samurai? I, I don't know. 
Let's get a 1954 Japanese epic samurai drama written, co-written by Akira Kurosawa. But, you know, I got to at least get him complimented to taking inspiration from the same source that George Lucas did. I mean, you know. It makes the movie hilariously a double ripoff. It does. I'm on a mission from Gad. <laughs> I'm here from Gad. Gad needs help to defend my planet. Can you help? I'm the disputer. I'm the anti-disputer. The settler. I am the settler. I'm what they call a sinker. Didn't he say that already? I don't know. I've forgotten what he said like three seconds after he says it. What's his name again? I'm looking at Akira Sawa. Akira Kuros, 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 wow, okay. Let's try that again. I'm looking at Akira Kurosawa's directing history. I've stopped caring about this movie. I mean, didn't they name his home planet after him? Uh... Some people pronounce it like that. His name is Shad. Shad? Shad. It is an it is Akira is the planet. Fucking space cowboy bull fucking goddamn Sorry, I just saw his name was Space Cowboy and I hated him again. What's he drinking? Poison, I hope. Shields up, dude. Did you see who did the special effects for this movie? No. James Cameron. Huh. So this is like the predecessor to Terminator in all of the worst ways. Huh. 
Oh, good. Valkyrie's here. And I have a space cowboy and a computer nerdy girl. Bro. Like, literally, she's the first actual warrior that showed up. I would love it if you would short circuit her audio. No, I have killed myself to make this movie better. Thanks. Anti-smoking PSA. Glad we had that. Hey, that's, I mean, that's kind of a big deal for the 80s. That's fair. I'm a space baby. Cool. I'm feeling the emotion of these characters, man. Just you wait. I mean, look at all these cool spaceships. <laughs> They're like so memorable. I don't know who's in which one. That is, that riff is totally ripped off of Prokofiev from Battle on the Ice. Battle on the Space Ice. He was taking a dump.
Russ Tarter. Oh, I see. Hubris. Well, well, she died honorably. Yep. Greetings, human life forms. We have come to assimilate you. I thought he said cluckering. Let the right, orgy thanks. commence. Uh, you're giving me Logan's run flashbacks again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what is this about now? I think they're summoning Godzilla. That would have been a smarter plan from the beginning. But this isn't Planet Ichiro, this is Planet Akira. <coughs> Capacitators. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, you know. okay, well, that's direct. Um, huh. So I'm trying to imagine that the pitch for this movie. Star Wars was popular. This one is same. Yeah. What's the planet name? We're naming it after the director we ripped off. 
Cool. Tell me about the main ship. It's a it's a sexy ship. How sexy? We gave it boobs. So their intelligence missed the fact that they actually had a warship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the ropes? Uh, oh, those ropes. Well, let me go ask my dad. On Bilandic, they also have tree males. <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> oh, both your species have kissing, Draco Funk. Yes, we we have that. All right, please don't demonstrate. Battle Beyond the Blue Balls. A concussion is the best thing that could happen to him right now. There's going to be f***ing Space Cowboy playing the harmonica. God damn it. I do appreciate that they're heating themselves on the thermal aliens. Like, the aliens are probably just there screaming so everyone else can stay warm. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, everybody ate hot dogs in the 80s. Why couldn't you just serve all of it to one of them so only one of the five of them get constipated? Yes, shut up, kid, and go away. I was born eight feet tall. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, the wow crystals are going wow. I have to poop. (laughs) 
He doesn't feel anything, including the need to poop. So if he's not wearing diapers, it just falls out. You know, I don't know if I want to eat, like, or eat, eat, drink, drink, drink belt juice. It's a scotch dispenser, man. I can't, okay. I mean, I kind of want a belt scotch dispenser. It just seems like a downgrade from the helmets, the beer can helmets. Yeah. They're launching the prawns? Out of space? Prawns in space. Release the prawns. He looks like an off-brand Daft Punk. Like, Diff Punk. Yeah. And this battle sequence... I was about to say the battle sequence wasn't thrilling, but it got even more lazy at that point. Mm-hmm, 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 space, final Ship. frontier, let's use the weapons. Can we shoot, it? thank you, oh, come on, shoot it, please, move the sequence along. Come, come on, Shadford. Chad, Chadling, Shaddington. Come on, Frogman. You got this. Nope, that was definitely a Star Trek noise. There it is again. Mm hmm. A lot of this movie is just people like vaguely turning things. Chad, use the guns. He doesn't even turn things. He just like <laughs> sits there. Like I, I'm wondering if he didn't even. Like... Oh, now, now he's turning things. See? Oh, there we go. Okay. I was starting to think that they never told him action, and he was waiting for the cue the entire time, and they just filmed him waiting. <laughs> he has that look on his face like when are they going to tell me to go I'm waiting boom, boom. Mm -hmm. are they going to no okay what about can I yeah okay yeah we're going to Oh no, it's V'ger! Oh wait, wrong movie. Oh no, it's V'ger 2. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
which ship was his? The 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 flat one, that one. Oh, okay. The stingray, the happy stingray. Yeah. It's been my favorite ship. He looks happy. I'm sure he's going to feel that one. Critical damage to one of his six engines. Are they going to... Are we going to go... Okay. Shoot, shoot. You know... I like the idea that they brought him in for a day of shooting and they just sat him in the chair. And like 12 hours later, we're like, okay, we're done. He's like, um, okay. Oh, Uh-oh. somebody must hold him action. <laughs> well, I'm screwed. See you later, guys. Uh oh. Are they going to get Space Cowboyed? Specifically enemy ass. Do not kick your own asses. I cannot stress that enough. Hey. Oh no. Uh, I'm losing it laser tag. Oh, somebody brought a knife to laser tag. Dick move. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about my laser tag adventures? Um terrible timing. <laughs> Go on, tell me about your adventures and laser tag. So, you know, there's a laser tag thing in the, um, in the town south of here. Yeah. And my high school had this thing on our, like, so you know how, like, the school would give you, like, uh, um... These papers that you could put on your books to be, like, uh, cover protectors? Yeah. You know how most of the time people just use, like, old paper bags? Yeah. So our school gave us these, and they had coupons that you could cut out at the end of the year, right? Yeah. One of them was a buy one, get one free laser tag. Okay. So, like, I saw this, and I'm like, wait a minute. So, like, you know, one of the teachers, I noticed they had, like, a stack of, like, 80 of these on the shelf because nobody really used them because Everyone used the paper, paper bags, bags were better. Yeah. So, like, hey, can I have, like, a bunch of those book protectors? And they're like, yeah, I don't care. So, like, every week, we would go play laser tag, buy one, get one free. Yeah. Next year, they didn't have that coupon in there. It was like, buy one, get get one, t- like, 25% off. Makes sense. I <laughs> feel like that was entirely my sense. fault. Oh, no! Oh. 
Is that just walking out and screaming at everybody? Realistically, that heat is just radiation. Oh. They scream to death. Oh, man. I, I, I hope the protein tanks aren't what I'm thinking they are. Sex. Sorry, the, the blatantness of that line earlier makes me feel like we need to use it again. Quick, get them to the Bukaki rooms. Man, I'm really sad I said that. Oh, look, there's Spear Guy. Ooh, Spear Guy got a two for one. Here's Blind Old Man. You goddamn piece of shit. what the fuck are you doing in my cave? Get the fuck ah! dick move You're shooting a blind man, even though I just killed one of your guys. Maybe don't tell him that. I mean, you're, you're all you're, I have is you. Awesome, you're not you're you're an all right one on a good day. I'm, you're you're a swell guy, Shad. I'm gonna lay in now and leave the battle. Oh, he really did land. Like, what the hell? All of them did? <laughs> why, why are you being so hard on her? You know what? If my whole planet was like dying and I had somebody who wanted to play a game and the game was kill the guys trying to kill me, I'd be like, yeah, go, go yeah. for that high score. Can you imagine their masseuse parlors? I. Uh, you want violent ending? You just reminded me of orc massage. <laughs> I thought he blew up. I'm sorry. I died of crashing. Please don't talk to me. So, so what is, isn't there like a big alien spaceship like still out there trying to like? Yeah, maybe. Dead for real this time. Please leave. I really want to be alone while I'm dead. Super dead, though. But our people are starving. Good. I didn't arrange anything with them.
What should we name the doctor? Call him Daco. Genius. Mm. <laughs> you know, at least he's got a show of it. Um, sorry, what? I, I, I think they're giving him an arm. Man. Sador needs arm. Wait, so they're going to give him the arm. I'm going to try this baby out like all the other, all the four guys <laughs> down <there>. <laughs> <laughs> Nice and smooth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um. Well, I joked about this, but they're really doing it. I, I, yeah. This was a fantastic plan. <laughs> All right, Chad. Shad, Jig, whatever your name is, chill out. Shadford, Shad, Shad, Shadley, Robert, Shadley. Chili Dog. Kind of want a chili dog now. The new Sonic game is out, and people are saying it's actually fun. Sorry, you talked about chili dogs, and reminds me of Sonic. What? Shad, why haven't we mated yet? I'm here to procreate. Do you have kissing? I hear that space BJs really help you perform. But I want a space BJ. Oh, he really does want a space BJ. SBJ, man. SBJ. That's the future that the liberals want. To be fair, lots of people want SBJs. Yeah. Donald Trump made a whole Space Force for a reason, right? And, yeah. um... And, um... Lex Luthor... Uh, what's, 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 what's human Lex Luthor's name? Real life Lex Luthor. Yvonne? No. Bezos? Bezos, yeah. Bezos has a space program, and he's been to space to get a space BJ. Elon, of course. Yeah, I mean, he made his ships look like, you know. All s***s, <laughs> full-scale attack. <laughs> Burning s***s. <laughs> <laughs> Already had some of that today, shit store. I wonder how much they paid Guy and Helmet. I don't know, but they used the same shot of him like seven times. So, not very much.
Wow, wow. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. I don't like feel threatened. No, there, there's like no tension in this battle. There should be. But there isn't. No. And you don't get the idea that the heroes are winning because they're, like, good. You just get the impression that the guys that are being constantly sent out are bad. Yeah. Like, oh, let me course correct into the lasers to make sure I explode. I'm sorry, I can't hit the really obvious flying saucer that's glowing to make it easier to spot. Oh, oh no. Well, then. that's the one I had to make a comment about, huh? Nectar going down. I think bum, down. Bum, I've bum, lost bum, direction. Bum, 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 bum. bum. But, sir, our troops are on the ground. They shall be converted. Everyone is going to see space, Jesus. Um, no means no. It, it's, it's not Han Solo. Really, that's how they control it. Yeah. Casually grope away the force field. What? What? Hello, boys. I'm back. Uh oh. She she predatored. Yeah. But no one will find you there. Now, what is that? Is that Space Cowboy ship now? Yeah. I thought he had more of a space truck. Why is it now a bad lunar lander? I mean, some people call it Maurice. Or the gangster of love.
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him dead. I threatened him with death, and now I'm gonna kill him. Eventually, I'm gonna shoot at him. At some point, maybe one of my guns might shoot. Oh, good. The Earthlings are here. The Earth... Earth... Man. What? This movie's all about people just, like, sitting and turning things. And space, though. He's seen Smokey and the Bandit. He has. I like the almost imperial theme they're trying to pull there. Mm hmm. It's the imperial. Merch. Buy it now at the Highway 47 store at shop.highway47.com. Oh no. Okay. Can he die now? Tell my whiskey I love her. Thank you for that astute observation, Shad. Come on, Shadwick. I don't like that name. It's too close to Chadwick, and I respect somebody with the name Chadwick. Oh. Did you just say Sui? It's just battle cry, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Fire which random that is. lasers. No, oh, he died doing what he loved. Screaming. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, logical smart computer. I'm gonna shoot him. First law of the Varda is kiss my ass, computer. I'm going to shoot him. Tasted blood. Now Shad's going in for the kills. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no, the drastic death of Shaddington. Oh, he shat himself. Uh. Oh, good. Space amnesia. Totally 
I mean, that that guy's really way way too far into it. I think he just wants to keep his job in life. Uh, yeah, that ship could really use a blowing. My ship of boobs is coming for you. The space battle. Mm. That could have been shot a little better, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. What? Huh. What? Woo! Wee! I'm immune to dying! I haven't died yet, and I don't plan on doing it ever again. Okay, cartwheel guy in the background was my favorite <laughs> character. Hey, that means we can mate. It's time to procreate and build androids and enslave them and have babies. Mostly the remains, because we've buried them here. That was it? Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. I thought we had a little bit more post-battle to work with. Nah, I mean, they couldn't waste any time on that. I, th I think about that time they kind of just got tired of making this movie. How appropriate. I kind of got tired of watching it. It's 
So, you know, Bill Paxton worked on this movie as a yeah. set as a like a set carpenter. Yeah. So, you know. Oh. I'm just 4.8 out of 10. 4.8 4.8. It doesn't deserve me. a 5. You beat me. Um, 5.2. 5.2? Yeah, and mostly I have a fond memory of this movie. So I told you about how what movie was it we watched fairly recently Oh, I can't remember. So occasionally um, on the weekends, I would stay home while my family went out to shop. Okay. And they'd, they'd have like movies on TV. And you watched it on TV? I watched it on like television. It was like a, this was like the Sunday afternoon movie special. Oh, your Sundays were not very exciting. They weren't. Um, like, that's how I saw Alien for the first time. And I know there are a couple of other movies I saw, like, during that time. What are some other... Mothra? No, you saw that at your grandparents. My great aunts, actually. Your great aunts. Huh. This was the first major theatrical film scored by James Horner? You gotta start somewhere. Hmm. James Cameron was fired and rehired twice. That explains not much. Huh. Well, that that was I couldn't care less. Good night, everybody. Hey, uh, the the Akir. Um, this was that they were known this as a tribute to the legendary director Akira Kurosawa. Huh? Who saw that one coming? Uh, not only are the effects reused in space battle. Or Space Raiders, nineteen eighty three, but James Horner's entire score is used as well. <laughs> okay, that's that's a pretty good fact. <laughs> it would later be used again in another film, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom. Huh. Kathy Griffin is in this. She's an extra. Yeah, she seems like an extra. Sorry, I am. I got nothing. My oh, comedy. Oh, ended here's th here's a good one that actually relates back to the Marvel movies. Okay. James Horner's score for this film was also used in the trailer for Roger Corman's unreleased film version of The Fantastic Four. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night.